Hi, I'm Kat Shea, and this is Trailers from Hell. I'm talking about the trailer for Poison Ivy, and this is a movie that I wrote and directed, so it should be really easy to talk about. Uh, when when I shot the movie, uh, there was really no ending for it because the ending that I really wanted, um, which had Ivy getting away with everything and just hitchhiking and you knew that she was going to find her next victim, was thrown out by New Line because um, they really thought that she couldn't get away with it and she had to die in the end. And I was fighting the ending so much that finally I was shooting the movie and there was no ending. So we wrapped without it. And we had to come back months later and reshoot it with a Drew Barrymore who had cut all her hair off. So um, on this low budget production we had to buy an expensive wig and um, and reshoot the ending. So we're not really reshoot it, we had to shoot it. So um, it just it got written after the movie was already edited. <laughs> Ironically, of course, New Line wanted all these sequels, but they'd made me kill Ivy off, so when they asked to do these sequels, I just was kind of appalled and didn't think any sequels should be made. So without us, they made these really corny blue movie sequels that had nothing to do with the original. At that point, I didn't want to do some crappy four sequels, so I just kind of opted out. But probably if I had it to do over again, you know, I was so experienced at being flexible with Roger Corman and making movies to fit the sets he had and shooting parts of movies with no script and then going back and writing a script and then finishing the movie and constantly improvising. I know we probably could have made something really great and fun and we really should have. So it's the old bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. It's about a friendship between two girls one of them, you know, uh, Cooper is very lonely and really needs a friend. And Ivy is an opportunist. And she's, she's actually, though, the kind of girl that you really sort of root for because she doesn't have anybody. And you really want to see her do well. And she sort of just crosses the line into really gray areas. And then finally, she just goes over the edge of you know taking over this whole family and trying to destroy the family but she's she never really set out to do that all she wanted was love and I think that's why um, people are so attracted to that movie is that they identify with the character who's supposed to be the villainess but she's somebody that's really easy to understand